go ahead and get it out of the way. How's JD's going to play? Going to start on center? If he's healthy, he's going to start. He practices two days in a row, and uh, yeah, I think he's getting better every day. Uh, I visited with Clip earlier today, and he had been in treatment already twice, uh, and that was the first part of the morning. So, you know, he's doing everything in his power to be ready to play. How's K1? He won't come on to play. He uh, ran eight gases uh, during practice to get to see about his conditioning, and so he'll be ready to play. We, we just got to get him caught up what we're doing uh, mainly on defense, but he's ready to play. Too early to tell you how to be able to play Saturday. No, I think he'll play based on what we've seen uh, the last two days. You know, he's gotten better. Like I said, he's still getting a lot of treatment, and he's, he'll continue to get a lot of treatment. But I think he'll play. What about a TJ girl? Can you have a little bit of ankle problem? No, TJ's fine. TJ's fine. How much can just sitting a week for JD kind of help him heal up? Well, again, I, you know, if you got to pull muscle in your rib, is you know, and Clint says the only thing you can do for it is, is treatment, and you know, rest is what helps it. So uh, apparently, you know, it helped him to where he was able to practice on uh, Wednesday, and then he practiced again today. So more than the rib, though, obviously, again, you know, he's. He got some, some nick and some nags, some injuries that he's had. But you know, JD is uh, a competitive young man, and I think you know all the attention that him not playing in Kentucky game that he got. I think that you know is going to be motivation. I think there'll be some changes. Uh, I got a visit with. Uh, the entire defense staff, we said we would watch to see how they practice, who would start, and so we'll make those determinations after we watch the practice. But there are definitely going to be some changes. Can you put a finger on what's happened in the last three games? I mean, looking at the film, I mean, is it just, just execution. Fundamentals, fundamentals? Fundamentals and execution. You know, again, you you got two veteran uh, young men that blew man to man assignments that you wouldn't expect uh, happen late in the ball game to give up, you know, big plays and. You know, if, if they do what they're supposed to do, then we're going to be fine. And you know, we're always going to have some mental breakdowns with young linebackers and stuff like that. But I don't expect the veteran uh, perimeter guy to to bust the coverage when it comes to man to man. Well, I mean, how much of a change in scheme is it to face a primarily running team, especially kind of a two back team? Again, it's you know you got to make sure that you you got enough up there to stop the run. And uh, you know we don't face a lot of those teams. You know everybody's spread offense these days. And you know we I think the last team we played similar to this is going to be when we played LSU last year down there, and they got into you know, a lot of two tight ends, two back sets, and, and ran the football. So that's what Arkansas does, and so we got to make sure we got enough in the box to stop the run. What do you, what do you see on film but from, from Alex Collins? What, what, what makes him as a freshman so good in this league? You know, I think they got two good backs. You know, I think 32 is a good back, too. Uh, you know, he's fast, he's quick, he didn't get a tackle by the first guy a lot of times. He makes people miss, and, uh, you know, he's got great vision. Great vision. Is this, um, this kind of game, does it give it kind of a break to the secondary, at least on paper, that they're going to be running the ball? Might give them a break physically, but it's not going to give them a break mentally because, again, we're going to involve our secondary and stop and run, but also you got to make sure you put your eyes in the right place. You know, I just got through looking at, you know, their breakout pass tape and a lot of big passes has happened. You know, those guys are selling out on a run, selling out on a run, and then here they go, they go sneaking somebody by you. So we got to do a great job mentally of focusing on our tasks, and, and uh, then when it's called for us to, but so show up and run support, we have to do that.